Samantha has always had great taste. And then um, one day she says, um, Dad, I got to tell you something. I'm going hiking for the weekend. And I'm like, who are you going with? Because I know all her girlfriends and the only hiking their girlfriends do are at the mall. So I know there's no real hiking going on, right? And she seems, she's like, I'm going with this guy named Ben. And I'm like, what do you mean you're going somewhere with somebody I've never met? You, you're gonna love him, Dad, I promise you. He's a football player, he's handsome, he's real funny, and he reminds me of you. And I'm like, yeah, well then go, yeah, go, go have a good time. Go have a good time. It didn't take me much longer than five, 10 minutes to realize what a great guy this was. And, um, I've heard it said that they call Ben Mr. Gullible. I don't see it that way. I see a loyal friend. I see a loving friend. I see a leader. And I see a guy who has courage and that will chase after something and run through a wall for my daughter. There's no surprise that Pam and I fell in love with Ben as well. Walk together into eternity. This profound mystery of becoming one flesh is our way to unlocking the mystery of God's love. So that's your journey. It's not the journey into the mansion with the SUV outside and the boats and all that stuff. That's not life. Life is ending at the grave where heaven is opened up. God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Samantha Grayson. I always knew Ben was special, but I didn't know he was the one until one day Sam came hysterically crying into my room. Now my first thought was, oh no, they just got into a huge fight. It looks like we're not only having cookout and Taco Bell, but our friends Ben and Jerry's are also going to make an appearance. But to my relief, Sam shared with me how she was crying tears of joy because while she was just with Ben, she was overwhelmed by the fragrance of a familiar someone. That familiar someone was her papa. It was at that moment when Sam and I knew that Ben was going to be around for a while, and this was Papa's special way of sending his blessing down on Ben. Ben, thank you for being Sam's dream come true. I love you both very much, and I can't wait to see what this next chapter has in store for you. After college, Ben and I lived together with Dr. Nick Holloway and uh, handyman Jeff. This was the year I really got to know Sam. He's very funny, sweet, and we bonded over giving Ben grief. One of the first times uh, we were all in the house together, Ben was picking on me per usual, and uh, Sam said, Ben, you can't make fun of Nick when you're wearing jeans that are tighter than mine. 
It was at that moment that I knew we were going to get along very, very well. From that year, I watched Sam deal with Ben's sass, his large amounts of hair gel, and his inability to pick out any outfit, period. <laughs> Samantha, you're sweet, you're kind, you're loving and funny. We wouldn't choose anyone else to care for our Ben. To two of my best friends, the bride and the groom, the Grazins.